take a zero pcb of length 7.5 into 5.2 cm now take 250 independent to make it soldering time wait A few moments later A few moments later Hello viewers, in previous video, I have made a DIY project named Smart Compass and I have got an amazing response from you which have given me a lot of enthusiasm to do this video Thanks for a lot of support. If you didn't watch the video, go and check it out. Link in the description or here in the title cards. So in this video, I am going to make Smart Compass version 2.0, something like Prototype 2, and also show how I made the PCB for organizing the circuits. So what's special in this Prototype 2? We can connect six servo motors at a time to this PCB and run them all simultaneously. This can be used as a power bank to charge our devices. Let's make it. Take a zero PCB of length 7.5 into 5.2 cm. Now take 2 15 pins to a male header. Insert female headers onto the board by leaving a gap of 3 holes from top and side. Now place the second female header onto the board by leaving a gap of 3 holes from top of the board. Maintain a gap of 8 holes in between to this header so that ESP8266 can sit on it perfectly. It's soldering time. Now solder female headers to the zero PCB. There we go. ESP8266 will sit perfectly on these headers. Now take 3 5 pin male headers, place them on the board and solder male headers to the zero PCB. While soldering male headers to the PCB, connect 5 pins of one header in series. Connect pins in series for other two headers also. It's time to place 3V to 5V USB output step up power module on the PCB. Solder 2 pins to the PCB. Now place the P4056 charger module on the PCB and solder the module to the PCB. Now place three pin main header on the PCB to connect our main server. Solder the pins to the PCB as shown in the video. Now place two pin main header nearer to the step up power module and solder the pins to the PCB. Place two pin main headers on the PCB as shown and solder them to the PCB. All components are successfully placed on the PCB. It's time to connect them. First connect negative pin knob. Step up power module to one pin of two pin main header nearer to the module. Now connect first two pin of step up power module to second pin of two pin main header nearer to the module. Now connect middle 6 pin male headers to win pin of ESP8266. Now connect one of 6 pin male headers to ground port or pin of ESP8266. Now connect remaining 6 pin male headers to D8 or signal pin of ESP8266. Now connect win pin of ESP8266 to one pin of two pin main header located in between two modules. Now connect ground pin of ESP8266 to remaining pin of two pin main header located in between two modules. Now connect battery plus pin of 
TP405 has its one pin and two pin main header. Now connect battery main screen on TP405 has its one pin and two pin main header. After completing the solving process, check the circuit with the continuity tester. After completing the process, it must look something like this. Let's connect components to the board. Connect battery to current port. There might be a chance of overheat or bonding burnout if battery is connected to wrong board. There we go. The compass is working perfectly all right. Let's start the device too. There we go. It works like a charm. Start this device also. Now assemble all components into the box. Our smart compass version 2.0 is ready to work. Do like the video and at last subscribe to my channel if you of course so please do subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon to never miss out any update. Thanks for watching till end. Stay tuned. My suggestion is to check out my channel videos also. If you are interested, click on this to watch my videos.